Well, obviously I speak English as my native language and I speak comfortably French and Greek and fairly comfortably I also speak Italian, Hebrew, Turkish, Spanish. Marhaba ila porfati, which is welcome to my room. So that's like welcome to my crib, but in Arabic. So I have a map of the world, which would be a dunya. Pictures of my friends, which would be a sadaqati, which would be my friends, and usrati, which would be my family. There's millions of people who speak the Arabic language, and I think that by like doing my part and understanding the language, I can, you know, I'm on a track and a journey to understand them. Language learning has had a profound impact on my life. Languages were what made it possible for me to become a successful academic in the humanities, um, to do research, to get a job. It's made me be inclined to say yes to possibilities of going places or living in different places. Hadatha Yahadith. Okay. Chapter two. There is so much vocab that we have to learn at any given point. Just in this one chapter alone, there's about three pages worth. The quickest way for me to understand it is just to write the word down, sound it out, drill it over and over again. I remember vividly my early days in Greek. I took a year off in the middle of college and worked as a waitress at a small Restaurant might be too swanky a term at a taverna in a little village in Crete. I remember not knowing what the word afto meant, and it means that. And everybody kept saying this, that, this, that, and the other, and they kept saying this word afto, afto, afto. I had no idea what it was, and once I figured it out, wow, that was a huge, a huge key to all sorts of things. Nahnu Huna fi Fimintaka, Brooklyn. And in English, that means we are here in the Brooklyn area. And a lot of the words are in Arabic, so hopefully I'm gonna be able to translate some of them and <laughs> see how this goes. I can't make out every word, but the first word, this one, El Mohatim is restaurant, and that's a hilal, so like halal, like halal food. Um, I don't know the word in the middle, though. I'm trying to see if I can make out any of this. Unfortunately not. <laughs> this is a hey, ja, ra. Oh, a hajra. Oh my gosh, that means migration. Oh, so he might be an immigration lawyer. Immigration services, something like that. A hajra. Oh, I'm so glad I made that out. Okay, that's so fun. Next semester, I'm actually going to NYU's Abu Dhabi campus, which is super exciting. I'll be able to fully immerse myself in the language. I'll be learning it in the morning in class, but then I have the rest of the day to myself. So I'll usually be able to maybe get groceries off campus or want to go shopping in a market. I'll have to really use what I've learned in class. We talk about lifelong learning all the time. Languages are the ultimate subject area for lifelong learning. Spending time thinking about language by learning another language opens up all of those thoughts and considerations to you and infinitely enriches your mental map.